This week, I'm going to talk about the UK election's effect on markets, UK economic growth, and lastly, commercial property, which we hold in our portfolios at Coots. Growing uncertainty about the UK election hit sterling and markets last week. The pound fell to a six-week low against the dollar when one poll indicated the Conservatives may not win an outright majority. Sterling was further hit by data showing that UK mortgage approvals are at a seven-month low. Sterling's weakness lured investors back into the FTSE 100, as a weaker pound means higher earnings for international companies. We think that the volatility is likely to continue until the election. We also think that the only important poll is the one on the day. Trying to predict the outcome of elections and the effects on markets is notoriously difficult. We saw this in the U US election and the UK referendum last year. We're maintaining our current positioning in portfolios until we know the outcome of the election. Britain's GDP grew by 0.2% in the first quarter of 2017. This was a slowdown from the rate of 0.7% in Q4 2016, and also the lowest rate among the G7 nations. The early resilience the UK economy showed after the EU referendum may be wearing off. Consumers are faced with rising inflation. The most recent reading was 2.7% as of April 2017. This was the highest reading since September 2013. The increase was driven by higher airfares and also increased electricity prices. Our UK commercial property holdings have been a good diversifier in portfolios and also a hedge against inflation. After the EU referendum, commercial property in the UK slumped as investors feared the UK would not remain a centre of European commerce. Due to high demands from investors to redeem cash, Many commercial property fund managers had to suspend redemptions of their funds. This was to avoid a fire sale of their assets. UK property funds have now reopened and the sector has recovered its losses that it made after the EU referendum. A big factor behind this is sterling's weakness, which makes UK property attractive to international investors. In Q1 2017, we saw one of the highest levels of international interest in UK property. We continue to favor commercial property at Coots as it's a good source of income and it can perform well in times of rising inflation. In a typical balanced portfolio, we have 4% in commercial property. We invest through the LNG UK Property Fund and the MNG Property Portfolio.